All right, Meteor Command Channel, this is a warning. This is a warning. Do not watch this video uh, if you're not interested in installing a window in a log cabin. This is a do-it-yourself log cabin steam sauna, but this video is dedicated to installing a, a window and it's, it would work probably on any log cabin, uh, but it's, it's a little bit detailed, it's a little bit boring, so don't watch it if you're really not interested in that. All right. Take care. All right, Mediocre Man, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and install the first window on this log cabin steam sauna. I have a standard window flashing. And uh, so you wanna basically line it up at the bottom of the windowsill with a little bit of overhang and then push it down like that and cut it. So, lost my... Uh, box cutter unfortunately i'm sure it's somewhere under a pile of sawdust but i don't have it and i'm going to need it later for roofing but for now i'm just going to use this knife and place it in just like that a little bit more like that just kind of get it into the corner there uh, challenges so it doesn't stick on itself. And you gotta slice it down the line right here, just perpendicular. You don't have to go 45 degrees or anything like that. Just like that, so it'll fold down. Just like that. And then just go like that. See how that works? If you can't see that, I'll take it closer. it we'll fold it back and we've got flashing there we go Just kind of iron it out it's better if you have a roller it's another thing I forgot was to bring a roller so I'm gonna take a piece of smooth wood and just kind of go over it real quick Got our first uh, piece of flashing there. And we're gonna go ahead and put another piece so we get that corner. Okay, so now we're gonna put another piece of side flashing and then we'll make another cut to bend it over. So we'll just cut it right like that. And then bend it. Get the slack out of it. And there we go, nice and pretty. Again, we'll take a piece of wood and smooth it out. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's the flashing that we have so far. Okay, sorry for being so close. What we're gonna do now is install the window. And then I have to put the top uh, spacer in and I have to leave some room because the wood's gonna shrink over time. So I'm putting the uh, spacer there with some foam on top. So if the building drops a little bit from the uh, top down, it won't break the wood. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put the window in. All right, 
I'm gonna check it on the other side to make sure it's in properly. Looks good. Okay, now we're gonna nail it in. I'm not leveling it because really it's, uh, it is what it is at this point. So it's gonna sit how it sits. I'm not too worried about it. Looks level enough. So we'll put in a... All right, we're back. Uh, this is just holding tape for the window. All right. Let's see. Okay. Didn't shave it down too much because then you know you have the opposite problem. There we go. And we're in. Okay. So we're looking good. Here I was on that whole time. Alright, here we go. So I don't know how much it expands. I guess it gets goes up a little higher. I'm gonna go ahead and put one more uh, band on it. go that should do it and that's going to get bigger and expand and then I put the piece over it and we should be good then I got then uh, once that's over it I'll finish the flashing Okay, so we've got the window in, and now I didn't put the caulk underneath it, and the reason is I'm more worried about having to remove the window someday than I am about leaks. I don't think this thing's going to leak, so I'm going to put the caulk over the edge on the outside so it's easier for me to cut if I need to get this thing off someday. Okay, we're going to put on our bottom flashing first because everything goes over that because water runs downhill. So we just just like that. Don't want to cover the screws because we may need to access them someday. I just did that. like that and I'm gonna cut that because it's a little bit long One thing I've been doing is I'm taking the screwdriver and, and pressing it into the uh, groove here. Because okay, so now we uh, got the tape on one side, got it right in the groove. I'm gonna smear it or smash it down with this wood, make sure it's nice and snug.
this one, I actually want to go a little bit higher because that foam will absorb the water otherwise. So. There we go. All right, well, we have some uh, extra wide trim I just happen to have from another project. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the top. So there it is, the finished product. Later, we're gonna to torch the, the light pieces and stain them so they'll look like uh, these other two. I don't know if the lighting's good, but there it is. And we'll put a little piece of metal flashing up at the top to keep water from running down behind the trim. All right, last step, we're gonna torch the trim and then stain it. Looks beautiful. It'll look uh, really good with the building. It's watertight. It's in. It's trim. It's done. Mediocre man style.